What's good YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to make a permanent diamond grill. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, click that like button, make sure you hit post notifications so you will be notified every time I drop some heat. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. First thing you want to do, you want to go ahead. If you're using a digital tablet, you want to go ahead and set your brush the pressure sensitivity. Just make these both of these bottom numbers even. I, I, I either I do four and four or five and five, and then I click OK. First thing you want to do is you're going to go ahead and trace the outline. Her teeth. Then you can go ahead and close it off as well. And make sure, make sure when you're doing it, like everything is getting closed off. So when we start dropping the color. We won't have no problems. And now that we got the teeth traced and made, we made sure everything is closed off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select everything and we're gonna go to object and click expand appearance. Then we're gonna come over here to our pathfinder and click merge. And after you do that, you wanna make a copy of the line work, lock the top layer, select the second, and we're gonna add a base color first. So we're gonna go with like a, a bluish white, just to have a, so, to do that, you go to your rectangle tool and you drag the color over the teeth. And you right click the color, go to arrange, and send to back. After you do that, you want to look over here at your layers to make sure your line work is on top of the color and make sure you did that step right. And then you're going to highlight everything once again. Come over here to your pathfinder and click merge so your color can become one with your line work. And after you do that, you wanna click onto it, right click it, isolate, select group, and now you can click everything individually. So after we do that, that's our base color. We're gonna make a copy of that layer. And we're gonna you can lock the bottom layer. And the reason I made an extra copy of that, just in case the effect we put on it, it normally have like a little, a little spillover. And sometimes it have it where after you add the effect we about to add, like you can see that it's not filling up the whole, the whole tooth. So with that done, that's why we went ahead and did I feel in the back. So what you're gonna do, you wanna click the layer in between. And we're gonna isolate, select the group. And we're gonna hold shift. And we're gonna select every, every two. Uh-oh. Uh, that's something. I'm mistaken. Clicked off of it. Okay. Oh, 
Where's that one? Okay. Now that we got everyone selected, what you want to do, you want to come to effects and click artistic, and you can just click this first one because we're trying to get to this chart. Okay. Now that we got here, you want to click on to film grain. And after you click film grain, you want to hit OK. What we're going to do. I'm brighten this up a bit. Okay. Let me brighten it up just a tad. Right, we gonna go back. I, I wanna try to. I'm gonna step back. I wanna try to add. We gonna go back to what we did. Take the first one, go to grain. And we don't want too much grain going on. And you wanna just kind of play with it until you find some that best fits your liking. Let's see. Um, okay, we're gonna stick with this one. No, we ain't. Bruh. Okay. Now that we got our grill, we got our grill. What we gonna do? We gonna lock this layer, and we gonna add another layer above it. We gonna clip the color white. We're gonna drop the opacity down to let's see what 50. Drop it down to 50. We're gonna add highlight. Did that we're gonna lock this layer we're gonna add one more we're gonna do a shadow but we ain't gonna do too much we ain't gonna do too much just gonna stick it uh, bring your opacity back up Effect. So we're gonna add one one layer above everything. And we gotta come over here and make our sparkle effect. So what you wanna do? You wanna click the shape tool, pull out your star tool. What we're gonna do? 
Make sure sure it's on white and the color is in the inside. So we're gonna try this one more time. We're gonna, gotta make sure the white is the back layer because we need it to be a fill. So we're gonna click our star, and while we still got it selected, we're gonna click down on your arrow on your keyboard. Then you're gonna hold you gonna hold control or you still got it selected and you wanna slowly pull it out. I'll say about we're gonna get it about right. Yeah. Now that you did that, you wanna plot your circle tool. You wanna put it in the center. And then you wanna come to effects, blur, make the first one, preview. We're gonna bring it 6.5. Okay. Now that we did that, you wanna select everything, go to object, expand appearance, go to your pathfinder and click merge so we can make this whole star we just created one. And then we're gonna bring the size down by holding shift and alt now what I like to do is while well, I got this selected hold control and tap X so now wherever I want to paste it I hold control and V and it'll just keep repasting this star we just created and we just gonna place it randomly on our art. Okay, one more effect we're gonna do. Gonna lock that layer and add one more at the top. Gonna select the color white. I'm gonna to click our brush. We're gonna go to effects. We're gonna click blur, the first one. I'm gonna bring this up to like say 10.9. Let me see. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna drop the opacity down. And we're gonna make our brush bigger. And we're just gonna a little more. Let's help it out a little bit. All you gotta do is double click this if you wanna take the effect off. Now we're gonna make this back white. I think I'm gonna do a little more. I'm gonna add just some emphasis and some spots. There you have it, how to make 
a permanent diamond grill in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your love and support. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this thing.